Hello guys, so in this video I'll recommend that what you have to do in week number 8. Now in the last two weeks we uh, gave our focus to data interpretation. Now we'll shift our focus from data interpretation to logical reasoning. We'll come back to logical reasoning, right? And we'll be focusing on those sets which are based on selections and groupings. Now this type of logical reasoning questions not are not only important in CAT but they are highly important in non-CAT exams like NMAT, SNAP, etc. You'll be finding more questions from selections and groupings. Right. So in selection and groupings, uh, usually the question is framed like how many uh, possible selections are possible under the given conditions. The, uh, the selection could be anything like a making of committee with certain conditions like or maybe uh, uh, arrangement of certain things with which is based on uh, given conditions. So here the prerequisite thing is that you should have a basic knowledge about permutation combination. I'm not saying that if you don't know what is permutation combination, you'll not be able to attempt this set. But yes, if you have this knowledge of basic uh, basic knowledge of permutation combination you know that how to use N ncr and npr and what are they what are their actual meaning it will be quite handy the reason being is that most of the questions are based on the number of cases so far so these formulas which we used in permutation combination gives the direct or directly gives us the number of cases possible so therein these are very much handy to identify that uh, among all the possible cases which case which cases we have to retain and which cases we can discard. So that's the reason I'm uh, giving important to the basics of permutation combination. So if you want to attempt this particular section, at least you should go for the basics of this particular topic so that you'll be at ease in understanding the solutions also, right? Because in solutions at times I have used the concept wherever it is required. Now the key focus area would be how the formula is used. That is the prime important thing which you have to focus. Apart from that, you should be focusing on that, how to frame all possible cases, right? For example, if I have been given that they are A, B, C, D and E, these are the five people. And suppose the question say that we have to make a group of three people such that A and B should not be the part of the group together, right? By using the formula, we may be getting the number of conditions or number of cases, but you should be in a position to write down all the cases. Now, why this is important? The reason being is that just by using the formula, you'll be getting all the cases under this condition only, right? But since this is a logical reasoning, so it must have some other condition to match, to identify that which particular case is matching all other condition, you should be in a position to write down, right? For example, in this case, suppose if I want to figure out that what all possible cases would be or some of the cases would be, then I can say that it should be, if, if I take A and not B, then A, C, D is one of the possibility, then A, C, is another possibility ade is next possibility right apart from that i can start with b said that bcd is a possibility bd is a possibility so you can see that the ease with which i am writing all the cases you should be in that position then only you'll be able to crack all the all the questions under this section right so apart from this framing the cases of course not all cases will be valid because it has to match other conditions also so how the elimination techniques are used to reduce the number of cases using the condition that is uh, another thing which we have to focus. So obviously there is no one way wherein the elimination is done. It will depend upon the condition given. It will also depend upon what other uh, thing the question or the set is saying. So it will depend upon set to set. But yes, uh, while going through at least these uh, 10 to 15 sets from this particular uh, section, you'll be, giving, uh, you'll be uh, uh, exposed to a variety of questions and that would be sufficient enough to give you confidence that next time if, if a similar questions from this particular area comes you will not not only be in a position to uh, uh, solve it by using the formula you will be in a position to frame all the cases and within those cases you will be able to eliminate the unrequired cases so this particular week uh, will be uh, a testing time for you because uh, let me assure you that the set may be moderate but since it is all about finding all cases, so a small mistake will give you wrong answer always. So you have to you have to be very very uh, precise while using the formula and making the cases. You don't have to do it uh, with hit and trial. Try to be uh, very methodical in writing all the cases. So this is it for the this particular week. In the next video, I'll be discussing that what we have to do in week number nine.